Good morning, good morning. I made the huge error last night of not tidying up before I went to bed and I had people over. So I've come down here this morning and I was like, oh. But welcome to the vlog. Today is a very exciting day because I'm hosting an event this evening with YouTube and Vogue. And tomorrow is my 10 year YouTube anniversary. So tonight we're gonna do a little bit of a nod to that at the event, which is very exciting. I have the most insane dress to wear that I am just so ridiculously excited about. And I have some really fun prep to do today. I'm getting a blow dry, which I can't wait. And it's just gonna be so good. The event's at Nessa, which is at One Warwick in, well, it's literally just behind Piccadilly. It's really lovely warm cozy venue and when they were scouting out the venues for the event the YouTube team was saying they wanted somewhere where everyone would just feel like super comfortable and it like super at home so everyone feels kind of comfortable to talk and chat and I was like yeah 100% like big mood. But I've had a very chilled morning. It's 9 a.m. I haven't even worked out yet. I need to, but I want to eat some breakfast first. But I took Cody out because it's due to rain. So I wanted to get like a big walk in before the rain hit. And he's now nodding dog. He's laying there like his eyes are shut. Oh, so cute. Let me show you. He's literally nodding dog, there he goes. I think I want to make some eggs because I have many eggs in my fridge. And maybe mm. some bacon? I'm not really in the mood for bacon. You know what I'm in the mood for? Hummus. We'll do some eggs for now and then see what I fancy. But I think actually I have some, yes, I have some feta. We'll do eggs and feta. I mean, I do have bacon and I do need to use it. But I feel like I don't have any, well, I have a ciabatta bread actually. I don't fancy ciabatta. But I'm like, I don't know whether I want to wait and get some really nice bread and then do like a bacon and egg sandwich. I don't have enough bacon to have some now and like tomorrow. So I'm gonna wait. <laughs> And there we have it, eggs with feta, and I've actually got some jam on there as well. I feel like when you have jam with cheese, it's not weird, but if you had jam on its own without cheese on eggs, that, that is a bit strange. I've come to the conclusion that I absolutely need another espresso if I'm going to work out. Oh, this is why I work out. So, like, first thing in the morning, because I feel like I prep myself, and then I get to a point where I'm like, I'm just not in the right, do you know what I mean? I'm not the right amount of time after food or after, I don't know, something's going to give me energy like just like that burst of waking up in the morning so then I'm like okay if I eat then 45 minutes later then I'll be ready to work out and then I can do this otherwise I do it and it's just not very like efficient I don't achieve much and I'm like why didn't I it's like yeah, because you didn't drink any water yet today like how's your body moving I just I don't know I'm just such a lover of routine I think that's what it is hello my puppy boy did you have a nice walk this morning if there's one thing you need to know about Cody it's that walking in the rain is not his vibe. He will hold a wee in for far longer than he should if it's raining, won't you? You hate the rain. It's not, you're not made for it. We had some gorgeous cuddles this morning, didn't we? Let's do a double. I'm so excited to show you my dress. It arrived yesterday. So basically I've been wanting this dress for so long. I saw it in Harrods randomly one time. I walked through and it was just there. And I was like, that is the most stunning dress I've ever seen. I don't know about you, but occasionally with pieces of clothing, it like, it just seems to like tick some box in my mind. And I'm like, that is beautiful. And I don't know what it is about these particular items, but I've been lucky enough to acquire a few of them. And this, oh, it's just beautiful. Anyway very expensive dress like ridiculously expensive like could not justify buying the dress but did i keep looking on the website like every week at it like maybe at least like three times a week yeah but i had zero intentions of buying it and then this event came up and i just had it in the back of my mind i was like maybe maybe i can rent it from somewhere or something like that didn't work out anyway three days ago this dress went into the harrods sale yeah however my size wasn't in stock so i was like you know what i'm just gonna order the size they have i'll try it on and if i can make it work i'll make it work but also really hope it arrives in time i literally ordered it i think on sunday which is a risk in itself anyway it arrived yesterday i tried it on it fits it's a little big but not big enough that like it's gonna cause me any bother and it's just the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my whole entire life and i know this is going to be one of those pieces that i hold on to for my my entire life Mm, that's so good. In we go. In we go. Come on. He's like, but mom, but mom, I want to go with you. Which into the hair is <laughs> about to be fixed. 
Right, come on, Angel Baby, see you there. So excited to have a fresh blow dry. I'm a little early because I didn't know what the parking situation was going to be like, and I'm glad I came early, otherwise, I would have been like freaking out. I've got like eight minutes, so I mean, I have to walk to actually get there, but it's worked out kind of perfect timing, so I am very happy. But oh my goodness, I, it's not even like my hair needs a wash because I washed it like two days ago, it feels fine. I just can't wait for it to look pretty. I did some like flicky under curls the other day, and I was like, oh, it just looks so pretty, and I can't wait to have that feeling. I love it, I'll show you properly when we get home, but it's very bouncy, very smooth, very flicky, exactly what I asked for. <laughs> Whenever I go to get a blow dry, they're like, what do you want? And I'm like, super flicky, please. With volume, that's just what I asked for. And because of my hair cut, it's pretty fail safe for me, to be honest. Unless it gets blown around in the rain, that is. <laughs> then it goes. Guys, I'm just trying a dress on that I got from Amazon. And I definitely need to size down, but oh my goodness, isn't this just the cutest like autumnal dress? I love cutesy little dresses like this, but like I said, it's a little big, but I love like the ruching at the waist. I love the color. I just think it's very sweet. And I feel like it's not something you see on the high street all the time. It feels lovely. So yeah, I think I'm going to exchange this for the smaller size because it's so beautiful. And I also found this gorgeous hill figure. Look at this. It's a navy trench. That has been the most productive three hours of my life. I got everything ticked off. I wish I could show you my to-do list. It just is inappropriate. I can't. But I wish I could because I ticked everything off. And I'm over the moon. And I still have about 40 minutes before my dentist appointment. Actually, maybe not because I need to park. Which is a bit of a shame. But I'm glad in that sense I got semi-ready, as you can kind of see. Because I don't have much time after the dentist but at the same time I can't go with like full glam done because then what if it gets ruined you know so we're semi there also how strange is it seeing me with jewelry I obviously wanted to wear jewelry tonight so I was just having a little bit of a play and this is what I settled on but I want to make some food I am really hungry uh, but obviously I'm going to the dentist so I don't want to eat dinner after so I'm like we'll have an early dinner now I'll we'll go to the dentist I'll do my commitments at the event and then I can eat the food at the event because it's at Nessa and the food at Nessa is so good so I think I'm gonna make a little yogurt bowl just with some flax seeds and some nuts and some jam and some granola and it'll be super yummy and then today's flying i'm excited can you tell i just tried my dress on and i'm like i love it right let's make some form of bowl however i do not own a bowl so we use a tupperware as a bowl i know you don't need to rinse me every single person that comes around to my house tells me that it's ridiculous but i just found any actually that's a lie i haven't even tried to find any new bowls i am more than satisfied using my glass tupperware for now <laughs> It's so stupid. I need to like find some things, but you know, it takes time and clearly I've just not been up to that decision making just yet. I'll get there. My yogurt flavor of choice recently has been apple puree with, oh, I could do some of that. I think I have some in the fridge actually. Has been apple puree with almond butter and cinnamon. So it's like a bit of an apple pie. But today I've got some plum jam, which is almost out, but it's so good. Do I have, oh, I do have apple sauce. Let's put a little bit of apple sauce in. I would normally make my own like berry compote instead of using jam, but I have those jams at the moment and no fresh fruit. So we do what we must. And it's obviously really yummy because it's literal sugar. And then I'm going to do some almond butter, but I need to wash my spoon. <laughs> this is honestly, like my ideal afternoon snack or like dessert. The food tonight is Italian. I did see the menu, but I can't remember for the life of me what was on it, which I literally saw it yesterday. So I don't know why I didn't take that in. And then these are just like flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, goji berries, chia seeds, sunflower seeds. They're really good. And I'm going to do some granola. And I'm just gonna have a date as well, because I fancy a date. I'm not gonna put it on there, that's a waste. Mm, these Costco dates are insane. Yum. Okay, you guys, this is my snack. It looks really yummy. And I'm just going to sit in silence and eat it because tonight's about to be a bit crazy. So I thought I'd use this time between now and my appointment just to <laughs> clear this room up a little bit. And pack a bag for tonight and i've just been kind of sat thinking about what i'm going to say for my welcome speech because i mean 
I things like this don't really scare me anymore. They would have done maybe three, four years ago. But now I just have to say to myself, like, pay attention, Emily. Be in the room. As long as I'm in the room, it's fine. But I had a really funny scenario, actually. Uh, I was actually in Cannes with YouTube earlier in the year for the Cannes Lions Marketing Festival. And I got invited to this dinner. And oh my goodness, this is way heavier than I thought it would be. And everyone kept telling me how important this dinner was. And I was like, okay, I got it. It's an important dinner. Oh, I think it's fully snapped. I would just like to be able to get this to stand up just so it's out of the way. Yeah, no, this is uh, on the wonk. So yeah, I go to this dinner, I'm with Dan Rhodes and we walk in and it's this gorgeous kind of courtyard situation. You know, you walk in, you introduce yourself to people, you, you chat, you mingle, whatever. So I'm like, okay, wonderful. We go up to this guy, start talking, and he goes, hi, yeah, I'm the CEO of trainline.com. And I was like, okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, no one briefed me on the caliber of this room. Anyway, plot thickens, and we all sit down for dinner. Hadn't spoken to everyone, just, you know, met a few people. And we sit down for dinner, and the Google team are doing their intro, and then out of nowhere, <laughs> go, Emily, would you like to introduce yourself? And oh my goodness, I had to stand up in front of all these people, didn't know who they were, just know they were really important, and do my whole spiel. Anyway, I was like, okay, I think I did okay. And then afterwards, Dan was like, how did you do that? I was like, okay, fine, it must have been okay. But yeah, anyway, turns out we finish, I, like, we finished the intro, I've spoken, Dan's spoken, they, the Google team said a bit more. And I turned to my left and I go, hi, I'm Emily, nice to meet you. And he introduced himself and he was the, I can't remember what his title was, but he was like third highest. So like first, second, third guy globally at the Daily Mail. And I, I was like, oh my gosh. Some of the questions that man asked me that night. Anyway, that is my story on like being thrown into situations that younger me would have been uncomfortable with that older me is completely okay with now. And thank goodness for that because it's very handy to be able to walk into a room now. And you know what, and just generally be able to advocate for myself. It's such a skill that took me time to learn, but I am so happy saying no for myself. I'm so happy saying yes to myself or, you know, asking for things, like even little things in the salon earlier. The woman said to me when we went to wash my hair, she's like, oh, would you like to leave your bag here? And I was like, no, thank you, I'll bring it. Like when I was younger, I would've been like, yeah. And then I would've spent the whole time having my hair washed thinking, is my bag okay? So just, I know it's silly, but I think when you struggle to advocate for yourself when you're younger, it's such a huge thing. Bag of choice is the Goyard St. Louis tote. I'm going to empty it and then just put back in what I need. But I am going to try and arrive at my dentist appointment like five, ten minutes early just in case they can see me early. I don't want to be that guy, but at the same time, I feel like actually I don't even need perfume because I'm going to bring the big bottle just so I have it. Lipstick. I'll take this one. Gosh, the bottom of my bag is disgusting. Hope no one looks in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to empty this bag out and tip the remnants of the bottom out because that is just far too embarrassing if anyone takes my bag. I don't mean steal it, I mean like to hold it for me. <laughs> my mum and my sister are actually coming tonight, which is very exciting. I think everything else that I need, I need to use first, like the rest of my makeup. So shall we head to the dentist? And for any of you that are thinking, wait, didn't you go super recently? Like my teeth are fine. The clean was just really bad and I didn't really know what to do about it. So I just booked another appointment and then I emailed them and I was like, hey, like my teeth don't feel clean. And they were mortified. They're like, we are so sorry. Like let's book you in for, you know, to, with someone else so you can have it done properly and actually get the service you paid for. I was like, thanks but kind of like terrible timing because I've had to book this other appointment because there wasn't any available. But anyway, I, I would like a clean smile for tonight. I'm back from the dentist and I very quickly just topped my makeup up. Look at the pile of coats. The dentist was so nice. Well, hygienist appointment, but basically I booked a 30 minute slot and she was running 10 minutes late and I just didn't have the time. So I got in there, I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm on a time crunch, this is my situation. And you know what she said? She looked at me and she went, I was an NHS dentist for 11, no, for 10 years. I can do this in 11 11 minutes. She went, how long do you have? And she said, I'm still gonna give you a thorough clean, everything you need. I will focus on what you need. She said, but just know I can do this quickly and efficiently. You know, you'll still get the full service. And oh my gosh, my teeth feel so clean. I'm so happy I did that for myself. And 
you know, made the decision that what I had before wasn't right, and now I just feel amazing. But I need to get ready. My outfit is behind me, but I think I'm gonna make a shoe change. I think I'm just gonna wear my Chanel Ballet flats, just because it's like an indoor cozy event, or my boots, actually. I'll try both on. Actually, I am swaying towards boots. Okay, I changed the shoes, and I think it was a great idea. I put the Cezanne boots on, and I just think they make the look look a bit less eveningy a bit more transitional because some people at the event are at a daytime event of vogue house and then heading over to the event that i'm hosting so they'll be in like day to night outfits and i feel like this kind of fits a bit more but oh my goodness i'm so excited gosh i did that turn around so quickly i just need to put some lipstick on but i'll do that in the car because it's gonna take me a while at this time of day to get there but i'm very excited i get to see my mama i get to see so many of my friends it's genuinely going to be fabulous i've got penhaligon's babylon scent on this is is Etro. I feel like I told you this, but I feel like an absolute princess. I didn't love the shoes I'd initially picked, so yeah, I just, I really love these Cezanne boots, and I think they just really fit the vibe. And yes, I'm wearing them inside. Don't judge me, okay? For one night only, Emily's wearing shoes in the house. The floor is going to be cleaned tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> Do you know how many events I've gone to and like pulled my dress up under my Canada Goose so you can't see it? So I turn up like on the tube like this and then it's like Cinderella or something, but I'm not getting the tube tonight, I'm getting a car. But still, it's uh, cold out there and it must be done. It's a shame because I always turn up feeling a little bit disheveled, but I, I will not be cold. Cold is not for me. So my friends, I've just arrived. Oh my goodness. London traffic, I had six cancelled cars. Oh my goodness, I made it, but it was that thing where I walked in and everyone's here and I've just been grabbed left, right and centre. But I want to give you a little walk round of the room. I've managed to find a really quiet spot like at the back of the room. But oh my goodness, this is so crazy. So we have a little contact area for photos, the mail area, and then you come from home to talk just got my cue cards. I had to talk for 10 minutes. Guys, you know that game I was telling you about at school where you had to talk about a subject for a minute without stopping? I know you're already good friends. They were just like right on the front. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, they were very Hello. I was like, where's Emily? In no way now. Uh, I'm Alison Lomax, I'm the Managing Director of YouTube in the UK and Ireland and how wonderful is it to be here tonight. Thursday night, we're in the most incredible place, surrounded by flowers, wonderful, inspiring women. I've never had so many phones also pointed out. <laughs> Slightly intimidating, goodness gracious. Um, as well as the amazing treats that we have um, at the back, I'm sure of you. Has anyone got YouTube nails already? Yeah. Yes. Exactly, exactly. And tonight is our Women of YouTube Creator Collective Tonight. The first that we've done actually bring together so many fantastic women of YouTube. So, massive welcome to you. And obviously tonight is hosted by Emily. Woo! so much credit to Emily for all of the amazing touches, the flowers, the nails, the kind of photo shoot at the back. So this is a woman who understands how to, how to throw an incredible party for other women. So all credit to her. So for any of you who haven't been to a Women of YouTube event, um, this is something that we kicked off last year. It's a way of obviously bringing together connections um, and also you know, empowering you and sharing voices on YouTube through support and through toolkits and resources, but most importantly, bringing everyone together in real life. Because, you know, women can really lift women, and it's something that I've certainly experienced in my personal life. I've got an amazing group of school friends. We still go away together every single year. We put 20 pounds every month together in a joint account, and we're doing it for the last 30 years. So it's a group of women who, you know, I feel like I've been supported incredibly personally, through women and also in my professional life as well. One of my favourite quotes is Madeleine Albright. Has anyone heard the quote that she said? There's a special place in hell for women who don't support women. <laughs> we are all women who really love women. I mean, don't get me wrong, we love men too, and all genders. And the men here 
don't worry, we love you too, and I love my husband, for anyone who's posting this. Um, but it's really, really important for us to support each other and to pay it forward to the next generation as well. So that's what this is all about. So, woo, I love it. Go Jen, go Jen, exactly. So, all you need to know for tonight, before I hand over to the amazing Emily, is you can post. So all those mobile phones that are pointing at me now, uh, you can post, but please uh, post using the hashtag Women of YouTube and hashtag Creator Collective. Um, and to us, obviously, at YouTube as well. We have Kat here, who leads our socials, so if anyone has any questions on how to optimise it, please talk to Kat. <laughs> we also have lots of other amazing YouTubers here, so everyone who works for YouTube, you can put your hand up. Yes, there they are. Quick glance, you know who they are, but if you've got any questions, then please go to our YouTube colleagues. So, that's enough from, from, from me. I will now hand over to the incredible Emily. Now, Emily is someone who's a big feature in my life. My daughter, my 14-year-old, adores you. Aww. We all watched, we had a family viewing your trip to Bista Village. <laughs> <laughs> Great choices. Thanks so much. Um, but it's also quite an, a special eve for Emily, because tomorrow is a YouTube-versary. Is that a word? YouTube-versary. It it's a yeah, YouTube-versary. So tomorrow is Emily's 10th birthday on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone, let's big it up for Emily. Not only has she basically organized tonight, but uh, she's celebrating a decade on YouTube. So thank you, Emily. Thank you, Alison. And hello, everyone. If I haven't had the chance to meet you yet, hi, I'm Emily. It's nice to meet you. As Alison said, it is my nine year, 394th day <laughs> on YouTube. We're still here. And I just thought I'd tell you a little bit of my story because I think I started YouTube probably in the same way as a lot of you. I was a very shy teen and I started posting videos while some of my friends were out and about. And I was like, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to film my little videos. And it's brought so much to my life, but mainly community. There are so many of you in this room that I know and I've met from YouTube. We've got, I mean, didn't meet them through YouTube, but my mum and my sister are here. Hey. And they feature very heavily on my channel. I don't know if any of you saw my video of surprising my little sister with a trip to Disneyland. Um, she was, for her 10th birthday that was, she's now 15, which kind of makes me feel a little bit sick, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I moved out of my family home at 17 and moved in with other YouTubers. It has been my life. I mean, Lucy and I met, it must have been nine years ago. I mean, we shared so many memories, most of which you can find on YouTube. Um, you know, we've been through years together, haven't we? We've been through different homes, different boyfriends, all of whom we met through YouTube. I'm going to stop doing that, it doesn't work very well. Um, but what, what's really important to me is that we are all here today. I'm sure so many of you feel that YouTube can feel like this mythical thing that we all post to, we all love, but it doesn't exist. And it's so important to me that you know that there are the other YouTubers here that want to collaborate with you and be friends with you. And there are team members here at YouTube that are here to help you. Katya, she's my partner manager, she's wonderful. She truly helped me fall back in love with the platform because, you know, it goes in waves. Like, I can't be the only one that feels like that. But tonight, this is all about women on YouTube. As I said, I really want you all to feel like, in this room, it's a safe space. Please talk to anyone, make friends. I mean, like, there's so many people in this room that I've seen connecting and meeting that are from completely different realms of my life, which is so wonderful. There are people that I've met through the YouTube team. I met Maddie, I don't know if she is now through the YouTube team. I introduced her to Kate and they were talking and I'm like, this is like my world's colliding and it's so wonderful. Please work the room, meet some people. It's a super safe space and just thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Oh, she's going 
Like, you're so good. It's so good. So I didn't have it. It's over. 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 Yeah, Evie. Yeah. yeah. Loads of people. Yeah. So Lucy's about to head off and I thought we would get her a swag bag. Everyone that's come tonight gets one of these. And they are, they're really cool, they're denim. And they say we're going to be on them. Hello my love, this is for you. Oh, thank you. And your bouquet. Look, thank isn't you, it such an, you, such an Emily gift that you're leaving it is. And look, I, I didn't even get the pink ones, I got the orange ones. I love them. Guys, I'm taking one of the flower arrangements home. How exciting. So the idea was, sorry, I'm sat here in my coat. That's the reality. But the idea was that everyone got to leave with something. And the YouTube team were like, well, what, what would you want to leave with? And I was like, flowers. So everyone's got to leave with a bunch of flowers and the swag bag that I showed you. I'll obviously show you when I'm home. But yeah, I'm also taking one of the arrangements. Which, I mean, they were like, you, of course you can take it. So it's going to sit on my island. And I'm very excited. I obviously got my bunch of flowers as well. But yeah, I just think it's a really nice touch to go home with something that is beautiful. And I'm home. I'm going to be completely real with you. I have no idea what I managed to vlog whilst I was there. But I thought I would go through the goodie bag with you. And can you see my flowers behind me? I, as I showed you, got a couple of the floral arrangements. I honestly have had the best night. Genuinely. It has been so wonderful to be in a room full of independent, wonderful, open, warm, kind women who all create on the same platform that I do. It's just been so cool. So denim bags made of recycled material that say women of YouTube on and then just some fun little things in here. Some <laughs> stickers and there is also a water bottle and the idea is you stick your stickers on your water bottle and then we also have a cute little women of YouTube pouch and a little notebook because I feel like a notebook is something you always need but never have. <laughs> Cody's being so funny. But yeah it was just the most wonderful night. I've got my little cue cards here. This is what I was reading off. Honestly, the YouTube team are just so fantastic. And there's been so many things that I've mentioned to them over the past couple of years since working with my partner manager and just saying like, I feel like this is missing or I would love more of this. And tonight's just felt like such a huge accumulation of everything we've spoken about. I have always said to them, I just would love to get in a room with other YouTubers and meet people, but in like a safe space and in something that doesn't feel like super corporate or like we're all, we've all put, been put into a room and now we're like speed dating or something weird. This just felt so wholesome, so safe, so lovely. And I feel so proud that I got to be the face of it, which is really cool. But I had a lovely delivery from Marks and Spencers actually to the office and I it's been decanted for me into this lovely bag. I think this is a beauty pie bag and it is a Christmas hamper from M&S. They wanted to send me some bits and I just thought I'd unbox with you because you know how excited I get about Marks and Spencers. So firstly, they sent me this beanie and then there's some pajamas Armors, I believe. Oh my goodness. How cute. Oh, can you even? So festive. Honestly, this is so kind of them. They sent me the Percy Pig Pick and Mix top tier. We have a cute little, oh my gosh, is this a tree ornament? A hanging dirt. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little robin ornament. Oh, what's this? It's a candle. A mandarin clove and cinnamon light up scented candle. Uh, a marmalade gin again light up they're loving the light up thing this year oh some of these walnut whips sparkling wine flavored mallow and shimmery orange sauce and milk chocolate so sparkling wine walnut whips and then i believe this is truffles i actually won one of these when i went to a marks and spencer's like tasting event truffle assorted light up tree it lights up how do i light it up i need to figure that out that's very cool and then there's just some other bits and bobs that aren't from marks and spencer's in the bottom of the bag but guys and peckish I needed tea and I'm gonna have an energy ball. I am so tired. <laughs> but something we never skimp on is uh, skincare. Tonight has been so surreal. I knew Alison was going to say a few words about me to intro me before I spoke. Oh, you heard me speak. Honestly, it's been such a whirlwind, but I didn't really know what she was going to say. And then when she said everything she said about me being on YouTube for 10 years, it being my anniversary tomorrow, it everyone gave like a little woo. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is so crazy. Because as a kid, I never really had any, not even like hobbies, 
I had hobbies, but none of the hobbies I did led to achievements. You know, you had those people at school that would be up in assembly every week with a certificate for football or a trophy for this or this or that, and you would all cheer for them and clap for them and say, well done. I literally never experienced that. So it was so weird to be stood there tonight and everyone being like, woo, <laughs> what? I've just been here for far too long. This is a not, like, I've not won one of the match, you know? But it was so nice. And I, I love the whole Women of YouTube campaign because it genuinely tonight was a room full of people that were just so lovely. I was walking around the room doing laps on my own because every single person that I walked past, I felt more than comfortable to talk to. And there were like 80 people in that room. It was crazy. And so many people that I saw connecting with each other, so many people that I know from different walks of my life that seeing them all merge together was lovely. Like seeing my mum talk to my partner manager at YouTube and like my management team with my little sister. And there was a couple of creators there that were kind of older creators who went over to my mum and said hello, which was so cool. And I don't know, like my mum said to me, it's so funny seeing you stand up and Speak because they never really see me do any of that. And I don't really share any of that on here. There's definitely been a lot more scenarios in the last kind of two years where I've been, you know, on panels or in situations where, you know, I'm talking in a way that people are like actually listening to me, you know? And you know it's different. And my mom was just like, yeah, that is so crazy to witness and so cool. And I was really proud that my mum and my sister were in that room. And I and I just loved seeing them interact with all of the people in my in my world, my YouTube world. They that's like the whole thing for me. I've built a whole community from my YouTube channel and my YouTube journey and seeing them all interact in one place in one room was just crazy and I'm so grateful to YouTube for giving me the opportunity to host the Women of YouTube event tonight because I am very passionate about being a YouTuber, don't freaking know it, and about people feeling like they have a community and they have friends on the platform because I you know, I grew up uh, not having the best school experience, not having the best friend experience. Uh, like a lot of people, I see this trend on TikTok at the moment about people saying they haven't found their girls yet. And uh, honestly, big mood. Like I did not find my like tight knit close friends until my like mid twenties and well, like 23 probably I would say. And that's what led me to start YouTube because I wanted to find friends that weren't like right in front of me. I didn't feel like I could relate to anyone that I saw all day every day at school and YouTube really opened that world for me and continues to 10 years down the line and it's so crazy that like the people behind YouTube actually see me like that's so crazy to me it's um I'm really grateful I'm really lucky like I can't even tell you how grateful I feel right now I'm sat here in my freaking dressing gown you know <laughs> this just sums it up though doesn't it I uh, whenever I meet people for the first time and I meet them when I'm all dressed up and made up I always laugh and say to them don't expect to see me like this again and they're like what do you mean I'm like well I know you're gonna go and search me up because we've spoken about you know what you do what I do I said I'm not going to look like this when you find me and they always kind of joke and don't know what I mean and then like we'll chat on like DM or text or whatever and they'll just be like I get it like it's so it's so true and one thing's for sure nobody ever tells me I'm a catfish on YouTube because I feel like I look 10 times worse in these videos than the when you see me out and about so at least I have that in my favor but for now I'm going to love you and leave you I have many thoughts I think I might vlog tomorrow because I feel like it's weird if I don't. It's like a big day, 10 years. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've cried so much this week. I am not gonna cry today. Maybe I'll cry tomorrow. But would we be surprised? No. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I do hope you've enjoyed. I know it gets a bit loud and a bit chaotic whenever I leave the house and vlog because there's just so many noises everywhere. So I hope you still enjoyed it and I will see you bright and early in the morning.